Today is continuation of the Armed Forces Remembrance. We have started with the launching of the emblem to support the legionnaires in remembrance of their fallen heroes and those who are still fighting for us against insurgency and other crimes and criminalities. 15th of January is a day and night for remembrance of those who fought in the World War and the Civil War and lost their lives and some of them are still alive. They fight for our country. No sacrifices can be too much for us to make for those who fought for us. Nobody knows what would have happened if they did not fight against us. Secession, if they don't fight against the civil war, nobody knows what would have happened today. But I have always said it is not enough when we come on 15th of January or launching of emblem to support their families. Every serious government should by now, as a piece of legislation, we are about to be a standing front set aside to helping the families of our foreign heroes. So that those of them who have stayed in the service would have that confidence that if anything happens today, that families can fall back and have access to such funds. Believe that from time to time, some of us do not even identify if you take most of us just to wear the puppy as a mark of respect, remembrance for those who died for us. Some of us are being forced. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I didn't know I should wear it. Just as a mark of respect. And after 15th of January, you don't wear it again. We're just to make these few sacrifices, these few days, by putting this anywhere you're going. We forget easily. And these are people who fought for us, for this country to be united, for this country not to disintegrate. And these are people who are still fighting against insurgents, dying every day because of us. So I think that we have to reflect and realize that it is not easy when people say, look, I'll be a soldier, I'll be a policeman, I'll be a Navy person, I'll be in the Air Force. And they know the ultimate. They may come back, they may not come back. So those who can make such sacrifice, I think it is important for us to continue to support their families and to continue as a mark of respect. Remember them. And I believe that the Afghan community and the foreign governments must take this seriously and let us stop this every year of launching emblem peanuts in order to support the families. Mr. Speaker, let me say this and tell the bishop I'm very much impressed with what I saw in this cathedral. I'm very much impressed. I'm not surprised when he was a vicar in my church, I saw the leadership qualities in him. And that is why when you support people, 
you know those who are committed who would not like to worship here I was thinking that St. Paul's Cathedral is the biggest but coming in here today coming in here today I, I, I have more respect for a bishop and that's the way I said the church the government must always partner with the church. So this government will support this church. When he comes back, tell him. He should not hesitate to see me in the government house. But tell him we are supporting him with a sum of 50 million naira. <laughs>